Right, what's up guys, Kuma Bao here. Uh, today we will be looking at the new updates for One Punch Man The Strongest. Alright, so first up, we have the special sales pack for Fubuki's costume. Alright, this is it, look at it. Buying? Should you buy? Huh? 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 Alright, let's go through the uh, newbie pack one by one, okay? So basically, if you want to get the costume, right, you have to... Uh, purchase all the way to newbie pack 4 Okay, so this is where you get a costume Alright, so the costume itself is just a costume But what is uh, special here is actually the uh, photo chest The photo chest actually unlocks the puzzle pieces That will give bonus damage to your whole team Okay, so here are the, damage, here are the bonuses Okay, so if you manage to collect all 6 pieces of the photo You will unlock the following bonuses, uh, which is the damage reduction rate, uh, damage rate, and ultimately 1% HP to all your characters. Okay, so it's a small or rather a decent boost to your BP. So for every 10 of these photo chests you open, you will be guaranteed at least one photo. So you will need to unlock all six, right? You will need to buy packs five so that you have 60 and you unlock all six of them. And um, I think this pack is quite decent because you get 4,200 gems instead of uh, the normal level 10 packs where you spend you know, $65 for only close to 4,000 gems. Alright, as for newbie pack 6 and newbie pack 7, uh, to me it's a meh because Tank Top Master isn't really that great of a character. Uh, he is good now, but he he is not. He will drop off, you know, as you get better as more characters are released. So, yeah, unless you have the extra cash to spend, I would say you can just stop at newbie pack five. Okay, the next update we have is the uh, event surprise box. Um, surprisingly, there's nothing special in here, even at tier three. You don't really have to spend anything here. Just just do the box perk uh, quest here and open with the rewards given I don't think this is this event is worth uh, spending money or using your gems for okay next up we have the talent system I think this is what everyone will be asking uh, the talent system so to unlock the talent for each character you will need to spend badges okay, for example you will need at least 20 badge to unlock the SSRs you know, R and below, you only need the uh, 16 badges instead. So after you unlock, you get this. This is the talent system. So what you do is you have, you have to farm these coins on top here to unlock the talent tree. There are three levels of this talent tree. So what I recommend is you unlock one character first. Okay. Uh, focus on training that one character. And then you unlock the next one. Okay, so how it works is, uh, okay, let me show you how it works. So there's a new talent perfection uh, fight here. You know, you go in, you choose either you want to train your hero or your monster's uh, talent. You can even, you know, use the tickets for buffs so that you can get extra tokens. But there'll be later, uh, let, let's go inside this. Okay, so each time you challenge a flaw, you'll take a vitality. So for now, I would suggest doing your talent perfection first, unless the conqueror challenge is uh, Sky King, where you get to get swordsman or gangster gear. Okay, if not, uh, if it's the other two, then there's no point. You should be doing your talent perfection first because you know these things. This thing will guarantee you stats, while the conqueror challenge may not even drop a good purple or a decent purple for you after many rounds. So it's better to spend your vitality here. What is what you do is you challenge, bring the one unit that you want to increase the talent first. For example, okay. For example, I want to increase the talent for Golden Ball. So the other five characters that you bring along should not have their talent unlocked. So that whenever the uh, tokens drop, it will definitely 100% be for Golden Ball. So for example, Let's say a challenge. Okay, only my golden ball here is unlocked. Okay, as you can see here, I managed to obtain 30 tokens for my golden ball because only golden ball's talent is unlocked. 
okay but if i bring along other characters that are also unlocked okay for example my atomic samurai is unlocked my child ember is also unlocked okay so there is a chance to drop randomly uh, child emperors atomic samurai or golden balls token okay so the tokens will be spread out so if you want to focus on one character, it is better to only bring that one character that is unlocked. But if you don't mind, you know, spreading it because it's still early, uh, you, you cannot decide who you want to uh, train the talent up first, then you can bring along everything. Because uh, each fight, only one character's talent will drop. The token will drop for one character. Okay, so as you can see here, Child Emperor's uh, token drop, but the other two, no. So if you want to focus on one character, you only bring one character that is unlocked. If you if you want to just train everything, then you just bring all six characters or, or whatever number that you have already unlocked. So if you want to train the monster, it's the same thing. Uh, focus on one, or you can do two, you can do three, or you can do all six. It's all up to you. Okay. So this is the talent system, um, which to train, what to train. Okay, so the suggestion here is, you add enough, add enough points to unlock all the basic ones first. For example, right, in order to add the true strike one, you need to be, okay, let's get a fresh one. Fresh one for example. Okay. So in order to add this true strike one, you need to have level four of this R attack damage increase. So you add and I mean you just add until you can unlock this one. Unlock all the knots first. Okay. Don't level them up first. Okay. Unlock all the knots, uh talent one, and then talent two and talent three. Once you are done with the basic knots. Then you focus your extra tokens on the on leveling up whichever uh, you know stats that you prefer. For now, you just I mean if you are if you are still pre seventy two, if you still haven't hit level seventy two, if you are still in the seventies or seventy one, uh, then I think you, I guess you can just unlock all the knots for all your characters. The one uh, the the first talent tree. Okay, I think you need roughly about uh. 140 or 150 vitality to complete I mean okay, at least three refreshers to complete one basic talent tree all right so that's all basically that's all for the talent system oh um okay the middle one right you can actually input a sigil or something like that let me show you but that will only be unlocked at level 72 I believe Correct me if I'm wrong because I haven't unlocked it yet, so I'm not sure. Uh, where is it? What's this though? So after you hit seventy two, you can you know insert sigil in the more uh, in the middle part of the uh, talent tree to give bonuses, uh, special bonuses to your character. Alright, uh, we'll talk more about this when I hit seventy two. Um, before that, yep, I guess I can only be seventy one today. Alright, so that's all for the update. Uh, we have one more costume actually. Um, it's actually pretty ugly, so I'm not sure who's gonna buy this. But yeah. All right. So that's all for the video today. I'll, uh, if you have any questions, leave them down below. I'll try to find the answers and then uh, I'll reply you in the next video. All right. See you. Bye.